Wendy remains unique and part of her character was his force of charisma and I use the term force of charisma as opposed to charisma because I think a lot of people have charisma which oozes out. Wendy's jumped out. It was explosive, it was dynamic, concussive and coruscating and that put her into a league on her own. doesn't matter whether was, Wendy is male or female in that respect because it was what she did that was important and she transcended that whole male-female thing in a way that very few artists manage to do, certainly very few female artists. We've heard so often they're very good for a girl band or she's a very good female guitarist. People stopped using that for a large extent with Wendy. She was very good, full stop. It doesn't matter whether she was male or female in that respect. The Wow album was my personal album of the year and I think it was Kerrang's album of the year because it had so much impact on it. The performances were just really forceful and aggressive and it stood apart from so much that was going on at the time. And it's going to sound strange but in the funniest sort of way the impact Appetite for Destruction had three years later was similar because here were artists, Wendy O. Williams on one point, Guns N' Roses on the other, who just went, went in and made the album they wanted to make. And that comes across as the, on the album, it jumps out. And I played it the other day in full for the first time in years. And you know what, it still sounds great. It still sounds as if you can put it into a record store today and say this has just been released. And a lot of people will go, wow, as it were, good grief. And also the video for It's My Life with the stunts and so forth stood out because these weren't camera tricks. This was something she genuinely did. And people looked at her and thought, oh my goodness me, she doesn't mess around. And I think that's the bottom line with uh, that album. It never messes around. It gets to the point and it kicks very hard. I think part of the, the reason that the Plasmatics and Wendy have survived and prospered, as it were, musically, is that they have a raw edge to them. They were almost captured live in the raw every time, even though it was in the studio. Because, like for instance, Black Sabbath, they just went in and did it almost live. Or that's the way it feels. What you're listening to now is a performance and great bands don't disappear. Great performances over the years don't just dissipate. They remain very much in focus. The great music that they made comes across today because it's raw. It's straight from the heart and straight from the instruments and straight from the voice. Studio technology wasn't playing clever tricks which nowadays people will go, oh, that's boring, isn't it? Oh my goodness, that album hasn't dated very well. And it is ironic that a lot of the big albums that overshadowed the Plasmatics and Wendy at the time now sound so dated, whereas Plasmatics and Wendy, they sound like they've been recorded yesterday.